and today I'm going to show you how I make stir-fried mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So right now I have two big packs of the just the regular white mushrooms that you can get from the store. They're already pre-chopped and I put them in the pan with some butter. So right now I'm going to let them cook down a little bit and I'm going to add some of the Music City barbecue rub that we got from Pepper Palace the other day. Stay tuned. And my lips dry, wait, my lips dry. <laughs> All right, so now I'm about to add my seasoning. What you want to do is wait and let cook down a little bit. Wait and get some of that steam coming up out the pot. You want to generously add in your seasoning. Now for me, I'm just using this Music City barbecue rub because we haven't tried it before. And it acts as like a, a season all. So it's got brown sugar, sea salt, chipotle peppers, paprika, garlic, black pepper, onion, rosemary, red pepper, and oregano. But you could also use one of my favorites, which is Slap Your Mama. It's got everything. It kind of takes the place of Lowry's, but it has a bit more of a spice to it. We also got some garlic powder. You can add onion powder, pepper, or you can use the All American rub, which is what I used the other day. So once it starts to cook down and you got your seasoning, now you wanna just start mixing it up. And you wanna wait and let these cook down completely. You're gonna have some juice in the bottom of the pan and that's exactly what we want because we love juicy mushrooms. So, since we're using the Music City barbecue rub to season our mushrooms, we're also gonna pair it with this pre-cooked barbecue rub salmon by Blue Hill Bay that we found at Kroger. It's got 12 grams of protein and it's gluten-free, so I'm excited to see how it tastes. Wait a minute, this smells straight now. Okay, so our mushrooms are good and ready now. You always know when your mushrooms are done because there's going to be plenty of juice in the bottom of the pot and they're going to turn a dark brown. So what we want to do now is transfer our mushrooms to a heat safe bowl. You have to be careful because this juice will be hot and you don't want to damage your bowls or your counter. Just going to go ahead and be careful. I'm going to slowly transfer it. Let me get my bowl set up right. Slowly transfer to the bowl. And be careful because if you transfer it too fast, it'll splash on you and then you'll get burns. Okay, so we got a little extra. So we may have to just eat those. Uh-oh. So one question you may have is, how do you prepare pre-cooked salmon? Well, According to the package, this product is ready to eat. The serving suggestions say, for the best taste, remove smoked fish from the package and allow it to sit at room temperature a few minutes before serving. I don't like room temperature salmon. So what I'm gonna do is turn on my oven for about five minutes at 170 degrees and heat it up a little bit.
after checking my salmon, I'm realizing that five minutes clearly was not long enough. It's a little bit warmer than what it was, but definitely not as warm as I want it. So what I'm gonna do is put it back in the oven and give it another 10 minutes. Now that we finally have it warm, I'm gonna go ahead and fix my plate. All right, so I got my spatula and my oven mitt to protect my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and use my spatula to pick up my salmon. And be gentle now, because salmon can break apart very easily. Don't that look nice? I'm gonna scoop some of my mushrooms from earlier, my Music City barbecue rub mushrooms. Give me a little extra scoop. I love mushrooms. Get some of that juice in there. And I am ready for dinner. So now, let's see how it tastes. Got my fork. Take a little piece of the salmon. I already know that the mushrooms are good because I made the mushrooms. So we'll see how this salmon tastes. It's actually not too bad. It's got a bit of a, like a charred flavor, like it really did come from the grill. So, yeah, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it about a, about a six. It's kind of salty for me, but yeah, not too bad. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below for more videos.